Let's look at question number six in our book. I'm going to start off by highlighting all of the pertinent information. This particular sub-main cable has a maximum demand of 172 amps. It is a four-core unarmoured V75 circular cable with copper conductors. The insulation method for this particular circuit is to be clipped directly to a vertical surface, open to air, and it's protected by a circuit breaker. We can start to fill out some of the answers here. So a minimum circuit breaker to be used. If it's a 172 amp circuit, the next size breaker up is 200 amps. Now to determine our installation method, step one is always to go to the appropriate table three, be it three one, three two, three three or three four. Three one and two are above ground, three three and three four relate to installations that are underground. This particular one is above ground and it's unenclosed, as in it's not in a conduit or a ducting or trunking arrangement. Our appropriate table to start with will be table 3-1. Let's consult table 3-1 and our cable type is a four core circular cable. So we'll look down at cable details and we'll look for a four core cable. This page only relates to single core. Continue on. We find a three core cable at 10 and 11, and another three core cable at 13. Next column over gives a reference drawing on how the cable is installed. This particular one is clipped directly to a vertical surface. Item 13 meets the requirements most appropriately. And a further installation note over here will say that the cable is installed clipped directly to a wall, floor, ceiling, or a similar surface. Therefore, we'll be looking at tables 13 and 14, columns 5 through to 7. Do not try and guess what columns they are. The information is listed on the sheet. made a note on my sheet to draw out which table and column I'm more interested in. And a note I've written down table 13 and 14, columns 5 through to 7. Let's have a look at table 13. I've had my book up to table 13. I'm going to read the cable types and confirm that I've got the right one. This talks about a 3 core and a 4 core. An insulation type is thermoplastic. Maximum cable temperature is 75. In the activity in our book, it spoke about a V75 insulated in sheet circular cable. So I'm satisfied that I'm on the right table. Next, we've got to have a look at which column. And I was told columns 5 through to 7. Column 5 and 6 relate to copper conductors. 7 is aluminium. I'll go back and double check 5 and 6. In the absence of it being mentioned that it's a flexible, I'm going to assume that it's a standard solid slash stranded arrangement. So column 5 is the one that I'm after. We said earlier that the circuit breaker we were using to protect this circuit was a 200 amp. So now I need to find a cable that can carry at least 200 amps. A 95 millimeter square cable can carry 213. We 
just said a 95 mil would carry the appropriate amount. The protective earthing cable size out of table 5.1 in AS3000 is a 25 millimeter squared. We can get rid of the reference to 14 and we can get rid of the reference to 7. Next we'll look at completing this. Our maximum demand was 172. Our circuit breaker was 200 and our current carrying capacity we spoke about was 213. Is IB less than or equal to IN less than or equal to IZ? Yes. Cable need to be upgraded? No, no. It's pertinent that this is always answered as yes.